Hi you guys, today I'm going to talk about keyboards on uh, mobile devices, phones and tablets. Uh, one of the bugbears most people have is the uh, touch type uh, keyboard that we use or the uh, on-screen keyboard that we use on most of our devices. What I found in general the uh, best keyboard out there is actually on the HTC One X. Uh, the keyboard on the HTC One X very very predictable, it's got built-in swipe really nice to use, nice interface and most people who've used an HTC One X and then moved on to another phone or had a chance to use an HTC One X will tell you that the uh, keyboard is amazing. Uh, what I found using the Samsung Galaxy S3 as my daily driver, I the same as a lot of people, uh, I've been using uh, Swift Key 3 Beta, uh, not a bad keyboard, works quite well, uh, quite predictive, uh, but it's got a few little faults. One of the faults that uh, I have that uh, I compare keyboards generally to the HTC One X own in uh, the HTC One X and the Samsung Galaxy S3. The HTC One X keyboard, the feel and use of the keyboard is very very nice but also the font on the keys is quite large as opposed to other keyboards and I'll quickly show you what I mean. This keyboard that I want to show you today is uh, called uh, Thumb, uh, Thumb Keyboard and it's available on the Play Store, it's a paid app uh, after watching this demo if you uh, want to download it, download it, try it, you've got a 15 minute window if you don't like it just get a refund uh, but to my mind at the moment it's uh, my preferred uh, keyboard and it's one I've been using uh, for a few days now and it's for me, for the customization of the keyboard is much better than uh, SwiftKey so we'll quickly move into an application where we can use a keyboard now this is the keyboard that I'm talking about, it's uh, called Thumb, uh, Thumb Keyboard or thumbboard keyboard. Uh, what you'll notice straight away, it's a pretty standard uh, ice cream sandwich keyboard. So if I press a letter, you can see the uh, blue icons appearing above. Now, what you can see straight away is the font size. Talking about font size, it's still quite small font. So we've put it into uppercase, so there it's in capitals, it's still quite small, and you put it in lowercase, it's small again. Now we'll go through some of the customization options that make this, for me, a better keyboard than uh, SwiftKey uh, 3 Beta. Now, if, excuse me, I'll go back into the keyboard, if you uh, long press on the little microphone on the bottom, it'll take you straight into settings. If you click on general keyboard settings, straight away you've got basic settings, all settings, utilities, backup and restore. So once you find a keyboard and you customize it the way you like it, you can back it up to your SD card and if you ever change it around and you want to get back to the keyboard, it's a simple uh, backup process. So, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> We'll get into all settings and we'll start uh, customising the keyboard that we've got there. Now first of all, uh, the key press on the keyboard or the sounds, we'll do that first. So test the sounds, so the current sound is the standard uh, keyboard sound, so we'll close that. We'll go into uh, custom keyboard and we'll choose a sound from the ones that are built into the application. So you've got typewriter wood, uh, galaxy tab, windows phone 7 and water drop. <coughs> If we go down to water drop at the bottom, and we'll test that again, and we'll close that, we'll just increase the volume so you can hear it a bit better, so sound volume, we'll turn that from 16, we'll put it up full for the moment, we'll test the sound, so, so you can hear the sound on that, so we'll leave it on that one, it's quite nice, we'll take the sound right down, because we only just want to hear it, the, ap the aptic feedback, I can get hold of it, there we go, put that down to about 15 maybe. Should do. Test sound. Yeah, it's, good. it's loud enough for me to hear it. So we're done on there and close that. Uh, we'll go one back. Uh, other options on the keyboard as we go down the list. We, we can next get to uh, themes. The current theme is ice cream sandwich. You go into themes. On this particular keyboard, you've got 27 themes to choose from. All customizable. You can alter the height of the keys, the width of the keys, the whole, alter the size of the space bar. Loads and loads of customization. You can alter the background color. You can put your own color in. Photographer's background color. Tons and tons of customization. So we'll pick another one that's quite a contrast to the ice cream sandwich. So if we go, let's just have a quick look what we've got. So we've got honeycomb, ice cream sandwich, which is the one I had on. iPad, wood, glass, gingerbread. Let me start seeing some colored ones. Nuance blue, nuance red. Honeycomb City, and loads and loads of other keyboards, Samsung Galaxy Tab, so we'll pick something that's quite blue, so we've got that nuance blue, we'll set it to that, uh, and we'll just have a quick look where we are on the keyboard, we'll just check back and compose mail again. So you can see now we're starting to customise the keyboard, uh, you can hear the sounds, so we'll 
get rid of that for a minute. We'll go back into the customization again. And now we want to change the font size of the keyboard. So we'll go into all settings again and we'll scroll down the list. And you can see now, further down the list, we've got background color, colors of the keys, keyboard, font size, keyboard size, colored key blocks, swipe gestures, and the list goes on and on and on. But for now, we want to uh, customize the uh, font. So font size, right, so the default font size is around 100. I think if we take it up to about 150, go OK, we'll test the keyboard. You can see the font size now has uh, increased dramatically to what it was before. It's quite a big font in uh, both lowercase and uppercase. You can see it's quite a nice size keyboard. So we'll close that, keep it 150%. And we'll go back again, back again. Uh, change your keyboard to a slightly different keyboard. I'm not overly keen on that one, it's just to show you... Uh, Keyboards you can get. I prefer. I'll try this one. Glass. See what this one's like. Uh, Compose mail. Yeah, it's a much more basic keyboard, but it's uh, quite nicely set out. Now, another problem most people have on keyboards, mostly if you've got capacitive keys directly under. Uh, capacitive keys on ice cream sandwich stock uh, phones and tablets, as opposed to the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, you've got the uh, fixed menu, uh, fixed button in the middle, and you've got the capacitive either side. <clears throat> what you tend to get on normal uh, ice cream sandwiches, you've got the home, back, and multitasking uh, or tab window button that tend to be right underneath where you're typing. Now, because I've got quite large uh, hands when I'm thumb typing, if I'm typing away, space bar is very, very small. I'm either going to hit a capacitive button or hit one of the letters above it. So the next thing I want to do is customise the height of the bottom row. So we want the bottom row a bit bigger. So we'll... Uh, Go back to ABC and we'll long press on that again. And we'll go to general keyboard layout, all settings. Loads and loads of customization in this. You can go on and on and on and on and on. Uh, so we want to look now for keyboard size again. And if you look at all the different options, you get keyboard size. Height of keyboard in portrait mode, height of keyboard in landscape mode, width of the keyboard, split keyboards, height of the spacebar row, which is what we're interested in. So we'll click on that one. The default's under, like I said before, it seems to be the whole default setting. So we'll take it up a third to about 150. We'll click OK. We'll click back out of that. We'll just have a look what sort of size space bar we've got now. Double click. Now you can see the space bar is about a third the height again of the uh, letter keys. Uh, much better for thumb typing if you're going to type. I'm at an awkward angle but we'll try some uh, thumb typing in a moment. If you turn it into uh, landscape mode you tend to get two uh, space bars at the bottom so you don't have to just try and get to one in the middle uh, there's loads and loads of split screen options that we'll go through in a few moments but uh, we'll quickly go back uh, I'll try and tap I'm really an awkward angle in front of the camera but I'll try and uh, do a bit of typing and we'll delete that we'll start again See, we've got certain things are coming up wrong, but on the whole, it's uh, generally quite good. So you can see there's a few mistakes there. I this is a should be I this is a test email on this keyboard. It seems to correct mistyped uh, keys very well. On the whole, you can see because I'm at a quite strange angle. If it was typing normally, it would be uh, near enough 100% perfect. But it's not bad at all. Uh, further customizations. If you hold the uh, bar and go into select key layout, you can see that you've got a phone standard layout, phone split key, blah 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 blah. You've got all your different tablet settings. So if you go into uh, phone split uh, compact, quite a weird setting, I don't know whether I'd actually uh, like typing on this, so you've got a thumb there and a thumb here so you can type around like this turn it to landscape, they're all customizable. you can have the keys where you want, these are just the standard ones built in, if you go into uh, landscape you've got two thumb pads you've got two space bars and you've got your cursor rows in the middle uh, we'll go back out of that again and quick, uh, quickly look at other settings keyboard layouts to uh, do, do, do phone five inch tablet maybe not a, a good way to do it on there but we can try it uh, as you can see five inch tablet what it tends to do is keep the keyboard as standard in uh, 
portrait and turn it to landscape might be uh, quite a good option to have actually if you could get used to uh, QWERTY typing uh, certainly like this it's for me it seems I'd rather have bigger keys than have a normal keyboard uh, you've got lots of quick options like long press, euro sign there, long press, pound sign uh, loads of different options for my mind and uh, the way I use the keyboard to be honest the basic phone keyboard, uh, we'll go back to keyboard layout, phone keyboard we'll turn that into landscape so you can quickly see what you tend to get if you keep it pretty standard is uh, much bigger keys that are, in my mind are easier to use better to use than uh, smaller keys if you're going to type like this the added advantage of the uh, dual space bar is you're not trying to get your thumb into the middle of the keypad uh, all in all uh, a really really impressive uh, keyboard lots of customization too much for me to mention you really have to gonna try download it like I say it's a paid app so you've got a 15 minute window to try it uh, but what I suggest is uh, you actually give it a whirl even if you're not gonna keep it get a refund if you don't like it but for those of you using uh, Swift Key 3 it's on par it's slightly slightly behind it but only a smidge it's, it's nothing really worth talking about for my mind I can thumb type quite quick on it and I find that the uh, general correctness of the typing is very good I'll quickly show you uh, the same keyboard on the Nexus 7 very briefly uh, so you can get an idea there we are I've been uh, messing around just typing on 